<laughs> I'm such a tool. All right, everybody, welcome back to the... Let's get rid of that thing. Welcome everybody back to the channel. Thanks again for joining me. It's Brendan here at Just Playing Crazy and we are hanging out in the lair today. And as I like to do, I am going to go through a product review with you guys, paid for with my own money, because you guys, I found out through comments, like to know, you know, what's sponsored, what do we pay for? So I paid for these tools myself because I got tired of using junk stuff on a lot of these higher end, what I like to call higher end, if you will, uh, foamy models, airplanes or whatever. So let me show you what I got. All right, everybody, we are going to get down to it. So what do we have here? We have some custom ordered tools from RJX Hobbies. And uh, I wanted to open these up right in front of you, show you what I got, show you the quality, do a review on this stuff. Why was I even interested? Why did I go this route? Why did I make this purchase? Let me show you the truth behind it all. Here it is. So uh, we got an old Craftsman one. We got something with paint. We got a little one. We got a bigger Craftsman thing. So uh, this thing straight from the 60s. I can guarantee that. And look at how everything is organized. Yeah, it holds on there, but you need something. You're trying to get it to stay. And this one's swinging. And dude, this is a mess. And then I got some other stuff over here. And these are some, these are some tools that I got. Um, I ordered these off of Amazon, right? And um, here's, here's the issues that I have with these. The ends always come loose. The grub screws are stripping out of there. So um, they didn't cost me very much, but I thought it'd be something I would try and it hasn't gone great for me. So I finally ponied up and decided to spend some cash. And um, I'm going to let you guys see it and uh, we'll discuss it and go through it and see if the stuff is worth it. So um, as I always do, product description i'm going to tell you exactly what it's like as i open the stuff up um, i'm going to include the link in the description below so that way you guys can go ahead and if you're interested after watching the video and seeing any of these products you can hit up rjx um, i talked to emily from rjx i'll talk to you about the process as we go it was very quick very easy and i had these things in like no time flat and of course they are customized just plain crazy baby so if you want your name or something else on it it's nice because then there's no doubt who owns of stuff and I'm gonna show you what I use uh, what I got so I can transport back and forth to the field so um, one of the nice things here is as we go through this stuff it was very well packaged um, in a box with all kinds of bubble wrap and stuff everything is individually shrink wrapped so you can open it up this is going to be my customized stand so all the pieces are in here it looks like some assembly may be required um, Nice carbon fiber stand. It's set up for 16 tool units, which is what I ordered. I ordered a set of 16, and you can pick and choose bigger sets, smaller sets, whatever. Um, and this was the stand that I went with. They have some aluminum stands and everything else. This is a, uh, feels like a heavier aluminum uh, bottom plate. It's pretty thick. And then it has um, our logo right there, if you will, or our name. So we can open this thing up, and we will take a look at this. And then I will go through and we will do a time lapse for sure on the build of this thing and then show you guys what it looks like when it's all over. So nice plate. And uh, I did share with you guys some pictures of this as it was getting completed because that's one of the cool things RJX does along the way. They will share with you uh, as they're doing the laser engraving along the process. along the process so you get to actually see after you've approved the logo approved the writing um, the way you want the fonts the colors the whole nine yards whatever it is you're looking for um, they show you all of that stuff in process so what did they give us here um, I have I ordered a metric set and you can mix and match, tell them what you want if you have certain specific sizes. You can keep the tools in the cases like, right like this, I guess if you wanted to, they're nice cases. We see the Just Plain Crazy logo and they have this nice separator it looks like in here. It almost looks like this is a, it's like a solid plastic, almost like a 3D printed plastic. 
and what we went with is um, one and a half, two, two and a half, and three metric drivers. I got standard hex drivers. I'm not a big fan of ball drivers, and I know that makes it easier if you're here or there or whatever else. Um, I do have some of those, but what I found my personal preference is, is I like the straight drivers. You can see that they have the set screws, so these are replaceable. And you can order them as I got one of these extras in a, uh, that's a 1.5 mil end there. So they are replaceable. So we'll see how those hold up in there. But I could already tell you um, these feel better than the Amazon ones. There's a little bit more weight to them um, and there's no slop in here so far. So we'll like to see how those hold up over the long run. Now, a little bit about these. German high-speed steel coated in titanium. So that gives them some good durability, wear resistance, um, heat resistance. It's not like they're going to really be seeing much heat, but sometimes we heat these grub screws up because we can't get them out and we're using regular Allen wrenches and then we strip off the, more than likely you strip off the end of the Allen wrench and not even here. So sometimes you got to heat them, but um, this is the key area when we look at, usually they're 1.5 millimeter grub screws. This is, this is what I really want good tools for, so we're not rounding them grub screws out, and we can get things like landing gear nice and tight. So I'm pretty excited. German high-speed steel, you can get them in uh, ball drivers if you want, but I like the straight hex driver. And um, like I said, they do, they do come in that kit, and you can get standard sizes. They had standard sizes available as well. I also got myself a set of Phillips screwdrivers. So that way I'm not hodgepodging and they have a, uh, a bigger size all the way down. We typically refer to them as number twos and, you know, skinnies, fats or whatever. They have 5.85 mil. They go with four mil and three. So they got some really small ones in here. And I like the length of that to really get in the models at some of those Phillips screws. In this case here, we have some ball drivers. These ball drivers are going to be good for uh, axle nuts and things like that. Again, I went with the metric. You can go with standard ones. They do have the uh, eighth inch, five sixteenths, quarter inch, stuff like that. Um, I do have some of those in like a snap-on style, so really didn't need them. So I went with the metrics again, um, becoming more and more commonplace for us. But again, same as the other ones. And you can get, they have handles and carbon fiber and dressed aluminum and everything else. Um, it may upset people. I'm a Bengals fan, so the way it is. So I, I'm kind of particular to the orange. Kind of fits into our, our logo a little bit more now. So I did like the orange with our uh, just plain crazy etched in there. And they gave me a bunch of different fonts. I just like the way that one looked on the tool um, the best. So there's a nice set there. And then the last set was a um, very just standard set of flathead screwdrivers. And we don't use these, we use them for pry bars more than anything, but there are certain places where you can use um, a smaller flathead. So I don't know if I'd be using, maybe looking at it like a flathead this big, but or maybe even that big, but the three and the four, um, if that helps you guys out, I can see you definitely using a three and a four, a five and the 5.8, maybe to pry off some servo arms or something like that. So um, just a little bit there, they may be a little bit bigger than you want for the hobby, but overall um, a very nice set of what was there. So before we get into the other stuff um, that they sent me along as a, a sample, I am going to go ahead and time lapse. Let's get the stand together. Let's put the tools in there, guys, and let's see what this looks like. So there you guys have the time lapse of the um, tool holder from RJX. There are no directions for it. You really don't need them. It's pretty straightforward and simple. Tools may be required. Ah, you guys already have them. Um, but anyway, so you have these longer screws that go through there. You got a spacer here and a spacer there. You have a nice little holder down here at the bottom. Again, your customized logo. And you could do different colors of carbon fiber and designs and everything else that was up here. And it looks like you have some more space maybe to throw in some tools, pair of pliers or something in there. Um, let's just see how that looks. Let me grab a pair. So pair of pliers looks like they fit in the inside of there. It won't fit the other way, but 
So you can throw some pliers or something in there. That's an old, pretty ugly pair that I had picked up there, but it works. So um, my first impression on the tool holder, it's really nice. It's fairly lightweight with a nice solid base in there. Uh, I'll be honest with you, the recommendation that I would throw out maybe to RJX is to make this top plate a little bigger and make those holes a little bigger so the top holes will drop those pieces down in. Hey, future Brendan here. I just spoke with RJX Hobby and they actually said that the holes are based on the average tool size for their handles. Depending which handle you get um, will fit differently in there and some will actually drop down in and some just center on there. But they will actually take my recommendation into consideration and try and make that top plate fit all the tools uh, individually as needed. Into there because you have the room below for them to sit down through there. And I just think that that would be a, um, they're pretty sturdy in here. And the nice part is, is that you have 16 holes. So you notice if something's missing, man, I ought to go looking for that thing. But, um, you know, it, it's nice. They sit in there, they center out pretty nice. They're not like falling out. You know what I mean? You're not going to lose any of those things. So they're in there nice and sturdy. And, and you could take it from your bench, from one bench to another with you. And this is what I picked up when I go to the field. So, got myself a nice little RJX, has a little carry pouch on there, but you can take these things out and you can go ahead and um, store them in here. And you can actually carry these things with you to the field and you have a nice tool holder. So if you're going away for a weekend, you can pick yourself up one of these travel pouches. Um, I just got it dusty from being on my table, but um, pick up a nice travel pouch to take with you. But again, um, High-speed German steel, titanium-coated stuff, supposed to be very durable, very strong, very resilient, keep you from stripping a lot of those hobby screws and making life miserable. Um, you can customize handles, carbon fiber, colors, aluminum, whatever. They have tons of that stuff there. So um, plenty of different things. And uh, again, the description for all this stuff, guys, is going to be down, or the links to the stuff is going to be down below in the description. Look down in there. If you're tired of jerking around with crappy tools like I am, um, hit up Emily from RJX Hobby down there. Let's get into some of the other stuff that they're also uh, sent over to me with some samples that I could show you guys. They are um, a, a great customizing resource for carbon fiber, all kinds of stuff that's available through them. Um, let's check out some of the stuff. So when we look at the straps, there's a couple different ones in here. This first one that I'm looking at is different from the other two or the other three. This is actually a silicone lined 3M Kevlar strap, battery strap. So it's a non slip strap and you can actually feel it's got that rubberness or tacky silicone feel to it but they make these in all different types of sizes so if you're looking for some really high-end battery straps um, these things are going to be non-grip some of us we prefer you know velcro or you use that shelf liner material so just another option if you're placing an order for some tools or whatever there's some of those and then they have some silicone uh, regular silicone kevlar ones and some different lengths here. <laughs> I like that build, fly, crash, and repeat. So they make these things in about any size that you could possibly imagine. They look like some nice battery straps. They got three layers of stitching in them, just like this one. So hopefully they hold up um, better than some of our other ones. And they got, um, you know, some nice Kevlar stitching on there. If you're, you got something that you're really worried about batteries or whatever, dude, these things, they're not, you know, they're not weak by far. So some cool battery straps that they have. And then uh, when I built, if you guys didn't see the video, link included, of the A10 that I just refinished, the gentleman had donated it to me at the fly-in. One of the things that he didn't include in there was wing tubes. So when I was panicking, I didn't know what model make it was, if it was E-Flight or FMS initially, so I couldn't find any carbon tubes. I started trying to find measurements so I could hit up RJX for some wing tubes. They have tubes, they have square, round, solid, whatever it is that you're looking for, carbon tubes, they got it. And these are just a couple samples. And these things are nicely done. They'll make them any size you want. This is like a, a matte twill. It's like a, a bland, you know. And if you have something that's going to be out there, they have this gloss finish right here. 
And here is two examples of other stuff that they do, which is really cool. They're not just tools. And this is the nice part. Um, a good friend of mine, Mr. Ronnie London, he's he's dealt with them before to get custom carbon pieces and is super happy with them um, as well. And I'm going to be heading down that route. But they actually will cut anything you want as long as you give them dimensions. And they have all kinds of thicknesses of carbon fiber. I do not have access to a CNC machine. And guys, do I got a cool project coming up for the winter time. This is a rare plane. It's going to be a super cool build. You don't really see these things around. And I can guarantee for me, this is going to be a big first time experience. And for you guys, uh, I'm sure a lot of you are going to be very interested in what's coming your way in this winter build. So anyway, I'm going to be hitting up RJX to do some custom um, carbon work for me because I want to make it super cool in the inside. And this is like some of the work they do from RJX. They can do any type of custom, battery's done. They can do any type of like custom CNC work. They do a great job cutting the stuff out. There's no sharp or frayed edges on here. Everything is nice and clean. You're looking for a battery tray, servo tray, or a mix. You're looking for heli frames, car frames, um, whatever thickness you want. And I saw it on an ad they had the other day. It was pretty cool. They had some really flexible carbon fiber and boy, do I got uses for that as well. So, um, just some of the other products and services that RJX has because they sent that stuff along again, um, well worth it on my own investment right there. I'm super happy with what I got with the tools and I don't mind giving them the recommendation to make those holes bigger and that top plate bigger. I think that would be good for them. Um, but anyway, so what about the process? Let's talk about it. The process to get tools from RJX, guys, was very, very simple. I just went to Facebook Messenger. I hit up Emily. There's Emily Shirley. There's many others that you see be bopping around in the forums on Facebook and stuff with RJX stuff. Hit them up. Tell them what you're interested in. They give you a list. And, and depending on what you want to spend or what size tool set you want, you just tell them. Um, I want to go 16 pieces, 8 pieces, whatever it is. They even have like a 13 and 1 interchangeable. So if you just want to change bits in and out and you don't want all the individual tools, you can go that route. I didn't want to change bits, but they are interchangeable should you have an issue or wear one out. I'm hoping that's not the case. So um, you can go the 13 and 1 route. But anyway, so you, you send this stuff over. You tell them what it is you're looking for. They put it all together for you. The process is very, very simple. They communicated well with me. They sent me back, okay, these are your tool selections. Can you confirm them? Yes, it was. What logo do you want on there? I gave them my logo. They asked me what font. They verified it. They sent me a picture. And then they updated me along in the process, which I shared with you guys, which I thought was really cool. They show the laser etching of your tool. And, and it's really cool when someone else is working on custom stuff just for you. And it will be just for you when you order it that way. So whatever logo you want to put on there, whatever saying you want to put on there, you can go ahead and get it etched in there. Uh, the price was right for me. I hope you check them out. They'll shoot you back a price. You PayPal over to them. I had the stuff in like next to no time flat. So again, RJX Hobby. You can go ahead and hit them up in the description below. I hope you guys like the tool review. I'm super excited to have some nice tools to work down in here in the hobby shop. Um, so I think that's a wrap, guys. Again, it's Brendan from Just Plain Crazy. I know you guys are just playing crazy also. Thanks for sticking around. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, hit that unlike button twice for me. Like, subscribe, and share. It always helps out the channel. We've done a great job of spreading the message. Um, you know, and supporting the channel, watching the subscriber count grow has been awesome. I thank you guys a whole ton for that. Again, thumbs up two if you want to do the thumbs down. Like, share, subscribe, hit that bell notification. You guys know the deal. Hey, get out there and get some flights in. Peace out.